The lessons being taught in this makeshift Nigerian classroom could save lives. Displaced people living at this camp in conflict-hit Borno State are learning how to identify and avoid explosive devices. Jedai Jantiku is Community Liaison Officer with Minds Advisory Group, or MAG, which is coordinating the teachings across northeastern Nigeria. Now, most of the beneficiaries in the camps in Borno, or all displaced people in Borno entirely, they are farmers. Some are firewood vendors, some are hunters. And all these people used to go to the bush and get their livelihood activities. And these bush are placed at the battlefield during this insurgency for the past eight years. Borno has, for more than a decade, been the foremost outpoint of an insurgency led by militant group Boko Haram, and later its offshoot Islamic State for West Africa province. The conflict has left about 300,000 dead and millions dependent on aid, according to the United Nations. Borno's state governor has asked for camps housing thousands of internally displaced people to be shut citing improved security and the surrender of thousands of Boko Haram fighters in recent months. Uma Sani, who has lived at a camp for eight years with his two wives and 17 children, says it's not yet safe to return. If we are to go back to our villages now, then I sincerely see it as forced eviction. The reason is that we left our villages because of conflict and the problems are still there. Mag's contribution in this camp is that they gather us district by district and enlighten us on what to do or avoid when we eventually go back to our villages. Humanitarian groups say most families are unwilling to return. That's especially true of northern parts of Borno, which are deemed to be unsafe and may be experiencing a new landmine crisis. But thanks to the lessons, families like Sani's will be armed with the knowledge they may need to stay alive.